Steve's writing stories. He's writing more than a few. So come on, lend an ear. He's going to tell him to you. Tell him to you. Something from the brain of Steve Taylor. Wow. I haven't heard that jingle in a long time. Hi, everybody. It's Steve Saylor here. And today, I figured, you know, it's about time I sort of revise my own podcast, as it were. Uh, going a bit solo. I've been doing group podcasts and, and stuff like that for the past seven years. And I did, uh, obviously, I worked on Black Shadow as sort of my solo podcast novel that I did. And I did a few sort of small things here and there, but uh, it's 2014, and I'm not a fan of New Year's resolutions, but I am a fan of starting fresh, starting new, and it doesn't really matter when you start them as long as you start them, as long as you do something. So that's why this technically is not out at the beginning of January, as of January 1st. This is a new thing that's going to happen this year that Steve's going to be podcasting. No, I'm going to be podcasting. I just, you know, wanted to take some time to figure out what I wanted to do and what I wanted to say. And with that being said, what I really do want to say is that thank you for listening to this, first off, because without you, I wouldn't be here, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense, because I am a very appreciative for you, anybody that's listening, but... I mean, I could say that I'm doing this for myself to try to just get my thoughts out on the web and sort of my own opinions of certain things. But I could also say that I want to be able to entertain. I want to be able to tell stories. I want to be able to basically bring a smile to your face. That's what I want to do. So, again, with that in mind, I have a few things I want to do in 2014. And, of course, my phone is going off. This is live. I ain't editing this. This is the whole point. Uh, Ooh, Dice Warriors. Speaking of Dice Warriors, uh, I am, if you don't know who I am by now, which is understandable, I have been a podcaster, like I said, for seven years. Actually, as of the end of uh, this month in January uh, 2014, I would have been uh, doing a podcast called This Week in Geek for seven years. We launched that in 2007. Wow, that seems like a really, really long time ago. Man, I'm I'm old in the podcast sphere, I guess. Like, yeah. And then I also do I also run a podcast called These Warriors Are Terrible, which is an RPG gameplay podcast. And we play a whole bunch of RPGs and we record them for you. And well, those are fun as well. And I guess also I just have been doing a whole bunch of writing on the web. And you can buy my books or on ebook at uh Amazon.com or read.stevesailor.net. I've also got a bunch of sort of short stories as audio books. You can go to listen.stevesailor.net for that as well. Uh, and I'm all over the place as Steve Sailor, basically. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'm youtube.com slash snowball. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, oh, and I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. Jeez. Anyway. Eh, of course. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, I'll call Mom later. Anyway. So... Back to what I want to do in 2014. There's a lot of things I want to do in 2014, and it's I, I have to sort of get myself in the mindset that like I always love big projects. I always love trying to do bigger and, and bolder things and a lot of things that have a lot of different risks and stuff. And, well, it, it never really works out. I always have, the you know, the whole phrase, best laid plans kind of thing. Well, I always like to start things, but I never seem to finish them. And as Neil Gaiman likes to say, that it's better to start things and then finish it than it is to just start things, because I have a whole bunch of projects that are just sitting unfinished that I want to be able to finish. Am I going to get to them all in 2014? Probably not. But there are a few things I want to do. And with that being said, I guess because it's a new year, because it's 2014 and blah, 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 New Year's resolutions, uh, whatever, I did find one thing that actually I, I wanted to do, and uh, I found this on the internet of a few people actually writing leather, writing letters to themselves about certain things they want to do in 2014, certain things that they, uh, revolutions or th- new things they want to try, and also certain things that you want to be able to change in 2014. And th- I wanted to read you th- uh, this letter, and then I'll get into 
the projects I want to try to do more specifically after that. So it won't be a long podcast, but, you know, I'll give it a try. So uh, I wrote this a couple days ago, so bear with me. I haven't actually, uh, I should, you know, being a broadcaster, you're supposed to rehearse before you actually record, but screw that. No, this is recorded live. I'm going to just read it because, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here is the letter to myself about 2014. Dear Steve, you're 30 now. No guff. Jeez, did you have to remind myself, Steve? Jeez, for crying out loud. You're 30 now. By all intents and purposes, you're an adult. It's scary, I know. Living three decades on this beautiful blue and green marble is a feat not easily accomplished. But you did it. 2013 was an amazing year for you. Without even realizing it, you spent your last year of your 20s doing things you never thought possible. You've created new friendships that have become the closest you've had in years. Remember those times you sat in your room by yourself wondering why no one wanted to hang out with you? That's all changed, buddy. You are loved, not only by family, but by friends who deeply care for you. Remember that in 2014. You don't have to sit in a corner anymore feeling sorry for yourself. Your friends are there for you. They live busy lives as much as you do, but all it takes is a text or an email or a Facebook message or even a phone call for crying out loud, and they are there for you. That shyness you had about yourself is gone now. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of what God made you out to be. As someone once told you, the way you are when you are 30 is the way you're going to be for the rest of your life. So take this year, and with God's, your family's, and your friend's help, kick it in the balls. That's right. Kick it in the balls. I know you have a deep fear that because 2013 was amazing that 2014 will be horrible. What once was up must come down. Why the hell are you thinking that way? 2014 is what you make of it, not as some worry that it's going to suck. You seek out that fear and you will find it, so don't even bother. You have big plans. You always do. You build up these expectations of things to come in your head that whatever happens gets you discouraged. Don't be. The fact that you accomplished any goal is amazing. Love the act of finishing things. It's far better than the accolades you will get for that thing. You made something out of nothing. Be happy about that. Remember your own words. Think big, scale small. Be kind, be fun, be generous. Still carry that large heart of yours and never let it shrink because you think the cynical world expects you to. Be courageous. Do things you only dreamed about. Be positive. The world can put you down for who you are. Don't let it. There is much good in this world. You've seen it. Keep that goodness and share it with others around you. Be spontaneous. Do more things on the whim. It's never about why, it's about why not. Be assertive. Make the first move. You never know where it may lead. Just be amazing. It's not hard. Just help make the world around you suck less, and you've literally changed the world. Also, be yourself. That sounds cliche, but the secrets in life are found in cliches. In summary... Let 2014 be just a year on a calendar that you fill with many memories. That is what makes up a year. Not a lot of accomplishments, but with amazing memories. As always, I remain obediently yours, Steve. P.S. Don't forget to be awesome. So, that's my letter to myself for 2014. And if you want to be able to read the entire letter for yourself, you can go to my Tumblr, stevesailor.tumblr.com, and I posted it up there. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts. It was just spur of the moment. I just wanted to just basically tell myself to smarten up and just do the things you want to do and just be kind and, f- and have fun doing it. That's basically it. And if any of those words that encourage you, I highly recommend you, you can use those as your words for 2014. But so one of the things I want to do with 2014, I won't get into full on by December 31st, 2014. This is what I want to accomplish. But these are things that I have in my head that I like to try to do. One of those being put out a comedy album. That may seem weird. Have you ever heard of me doing stand-up before? No. I've considered myself somewhat funny, but I like I can't I can barely write a joke to save my life. Like in joke form, like how stand-up comics do it. But what I want to do it's a little bit different. Of course, I love to get up on stage and and tell stories, and that's what I did. So on my birthday, 
2013, on December 13th, 2013, I turned 30. And I put on this variety show that was amazing. There were some amazing people that just came out and performed. We had a burlesque dancer. We had a magician. We had uh, some uh, two amazing musical groups that came out, Cinderella, and then my two friends, Courtney and, and uh, Andy. And I, in the middle, did my own sort of stand-up slash sit-down, because I sat on a stool, uh, comedy set where I told stories about my life. They were all true, and I thought they were pretty funny, and the audience seemed to enjoy it. The great thing was I recorded the whole thing, and I am going to be putting that out as a comedy album within the next few months. I'm hoping definitely by spring of this year it's going to be out. And what am I going to call it? Too White for 30. It was a catchy name. I'm a huge Kevin Smith fan, so when he did his Q&A on on his 40th birthday called Too Fat for 40, I was inspired. I loved what he does, and I love the fact that he can just get up on stage and just tell stories about his life, and they're just funny. So I was very inspired, and I did the same thing, and I called it Too White for 30. So that will be coming out uh, over the next few months, and I'll be talking about it a lot over the next few months because I want to get people to purchase it. I don't have a release date yet. I'm hoping sometime either late March or early April. That's kind of the, where I'm shooting for. But that'll be out, and you can be able to, you'll can be able to listen to it any way, shape, or form. It'll be on iTunes. It will be on Amazon. It'll be on Bandcamp. But you can also stream it uh, for free on SoundCloud and on YouTube and, and a bunch of other places that I'm going to put up as well. So uh, it's going to be everywhere, and I'm going to bombard you with a lot of info about it uh, and more actually previews of that uh, album coming up within the next few months. So that's plan one. Plan number two is also do another comedy album. <laughs> so I've got, I, I, love, I love comedy albums. I'm a huge comedy fan, so this, I figured, why the hell not? Like, it's, again, it's just, why not? Let's just try it. So another comedy album, this is going to actually be one that I'm going to try with my friend Mike Dodd. Or Mike the Birdman Dodd, as he's known, and he was my co-host for This Week in Geek for the six and a half years that I was a part of the show. And we're going to get together, and we're actually just going to basically shoot the shit kind of thing. We're going to kind of, like, I was again, another thing I was inspired by is Brian Brushwood and um, and what he did with the, his uh, good friend, um, I'm forgetting, Justin Robert Young. Thank you. Brain, thank you. Uh, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young, they did a uh, few albums called Night Attack. And it was just them kind of riffing off of certain things and because they're hosts of NSFW and a bunch of other podcasts. And I loved sort of their comedic timing of just the two of them just talking and just riffing on certain things and telling stories. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for with Mike and I. Uh, we're going to get together, actually, I'm hoping, um, on the anniversary of Twig. We're going to sit. We're going to sit down. The seventh year anniversary. We're going to actually sit down and record uh, just a whole bunch of stuff, and we're going to see what becomes of it and turn that into a this we can geek comedy album as well. So that's that will probably be out closer to the summer. I'm thinking maybe I don't know. We'll see what happens. Basically, it's up to like how we'll see how it records, but whatever. Um, and also, I guess prod, plan number three is to write more. I have a whole bunch of story ideas that I have uh, written that. Uh, I want to continue on uh, with. Uh, I have a bunch of stories that are just sitting, uh, some, oh, some that are finished and that I just sort of put in a drawer kind of thing and just let it sit for a while and I'll come back to it. And there's a few that I've just, there's bits and pieces of certain things here and there and then there's more bigger chunks of a story here and there. So uh, I've got, uh, I want to be able to put out more stories and I, I who knows, we'll see what happens, um, uh, how many I publish throughout the year, uh, who knows. And so I hope you will enjoy them. There's definitely some uh, pretty cool story ideas I've been kicking around. Um, so that's plan number three. Plan number four, you'll eventually hear more about this uh, probably really soon, is I want to write comics. I've always wanted to, I've always loved comic books. Didn't really read a lot of them growing up as a kid because, I don't, I don't you know, honestly, I don't know why. I, I really don't, I, I don't think it was a, a parent's, thinking that it was too evil or whatever, because I grew up in a church household, a Christian household, 
And I don't think it was because they, they didn't discourage me from reading comics. I just never really knew where to get them because there wasn't really a comic book store in my area growing up that I could remember there being. And when I did find out about them, I would go in occasionally and get some stuff, but uh, I wasn't an avid reader. The most comics I actually read was was a lot of Christian Bible comics. They would take stories out of the Bible and they would sort of and they would draw them and put them in comic form. And I have a whole like shoebox full of them uh, that I would read constantly. And then of course I read like Archie's and and stuff like that. Um, but that was kind of the, the gist of it. But as an adult. I've been able to really enjoy a lot of amazing comics from uh, mostly from DC, some Marvel, but mostly from DC. So I'm a huge Batman fan, of course. I'm a huge Superman fan, as some of you may know. So I have a bunch of I have, the thing is I have a bunch of story ideas for those franchises, but I know there's no way in hell that Dan Didio or or uh, Jim Lee are going to basically call me up and hey, you know what, Steve, we're going to give you a comic. We're going to give you, we're going to give you access to write for Batman. What did you think about that? That is not going to happen in in this like right off the hop. But I have story ideas that I want to write about. But I don't know how to go about it. So we're going to – I'm going to record my journey, as it were, to see – like, basically, to see what happens. It's going to – like, uh, I've we've been partnered up with C&G, Comics and Gaming Magazine, uh, through These Warriors Are Terrible. And obviously, they're a comics uh, magazine, but they also have a uh, – if you go to cgmagazine.ca, you can uh, read a lot of their reviews and, and, st- and news about comics and video games. So I'm, we're going to see about, actually, we're looking into setting up a feature where I'm going to call it, I want to write comics. And it's going to chronicle my journey of starting from scratch and kind of crafting stories. And I'm going to maybe do some interviews with uh, comic writers and see how they got into the business. Because the thing is, I can't draw worth crap. And I want to see how an actual art, a writer can get in uh, without having to like write the, like draw their own stuff. Because th- it'd be stick figures and it'd be horrible. You don't want to see a Batman stick figure. You want to see Jim Lee drawing Batman. And I would love it if I could be able to have my words come out on on the page. So we'll see. But, I, yeah. Anyway, I will get into actually some of my comics, uh, the favorite comics I'm reading uh, into that. And that will be just sort of coming out occasionally. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's sort of plans that I have in place. So that's that's it. How, many, how long have I been recording this for? Oh, geez, 17 minutes. My goodness. Okay, well, I think that's plenty of time for you to listen to me yak for a while. So we'll we'll come back to it. We'll come back later. You know, it's like a, it's like a therapy session. No, it's not. What the hell am I talking about? Therapy session. <laughs> oh, see, this is what I mean about off the cuff. I don't know what the hell I'm going to be talking about. Uh, I have a general idea, but that's about it. You know, maybe maybe that's another thing I should do in 2014 is structure my podcast a little bit better <laughs> instead of just a stream of consciousness. Who knows? Maybe even like the stream of consciousness. Maybe. Who knows? I just like to ramble for a while. Um, I like to talk. You know, I guess that's another thing I'm inspired by Kevin Smith. He loves to ramble, and so do I. So, all right, that's it for me. I'll stop it there. Uh, if you want to be able to follow me online again, Twitter.com slash Steve Saylor, Facebook.com slash Steve Saylor, Instagram.com slash Steve Saylor, uh, YouTube.com slash Snowball. I'm also on SoundCloud, SoundCloud.com slash Steve Saylor. Uh, you can, that's probably where you're hearing this from. Or it's my Tumblr, stevesaylor.tumblr.com. And stevesaylor.net, I updated it occasionally. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that yet. Um, it's there. It's available for all of my stories if you want to be able to check it out. SteveSailor.net. Uh, I have all my stories listed on there, including Black Shadow. Uh, if you were a fan of that back in the day, uh, I've got the entire audio book up there as well. So, And a few other audio stories, too. But anyway, that's besides the point. So that's it. I hope you are well. I hope you uh, are amazing. And if you're listening to this right now and you enjoyed the podcast... Let me know right now. I want you, and a special thing if you've been able to uh, at reply me on Twitter or uh, message me on Facebook or, or post tag me on pay, uh, Facebook and say uh, Steve, you rule. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know something maybe. Oh, <laughs> uh, I am so vain. That's what I am. No, I'm not. Wait, yes, I no, I I have no idea. But anyway, thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. 
and we'll see. We'll see. Probably see if I can do this as a weekly thing. Oh, great! I'm already promising things that I may not be able to keep. Eh, who knows? Well, we'll see. So come back in next week, I guess, and see what happens. Yeah, let's let's do that. All right, I'm out of here. Get you all on the flip side, as it were. <laughs> as always, I remain obediently yours. Bye, everybody. <laughs>